Oh, it's thin. My goodness. 32 signal. And I could get it from the surface with the pin pointer and I managed to get through some of this frozen ground. But it's not a quarter. <laughs> This is my lawn. This is the edge of my lawn. House is right behind me. And this is the ATV path that I made in my woods. Now, granted the uh, house is only early 2000s, but uh, up there is uh, where the pest house is. And uh, not too far ahead is where uh, second day I had a metal detector. I found two silver Spanish coins, uh, pretty much. 10 yards in front of us. So in spare time, I usually come out here and, and detect in some of the woods. There's this bush here, and I stuck the mine lab in there and uh, got a 21-22 signal in the plug. And I didn't go that far down, there's a lot of roots. So you see steady 21, and it looks silver. So I ran, ran to the house, grabbed the camera, grabbed the water bottle, and uh, here we are. Oh, it looks thin. My goodness. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Oh, my. It's another half real. So, right here, I don't know if you can see it is a uh, a fire pit and uh you know it's kind of wide but i was suspecting maybe this is an old colonial hangout uh between the pest house and uh the road to town uh I'm not sure if this is the third real i found in uh right in this area here so oh my goodness 1783 this is crazy. There's been some changes since we've uh, last been here at the pest house. Uh, this is one of those days that Persis and I had a spare hour, hour and a half, and thought, hey, we never used the mine labs here. Let's go try. This was a 19, a little low for a... Uh, Copper penny, um, and I got a feeling uh, there's an Indian there. He's already dried out sitting there. Mm, 1800 something. Uh, that back's a little worse for wear, but yeah. I've been working my way up this end of the horse field, and I finally just had a signal that was super steady at a 10 was not a shotgun shell, or a, excuse me, a 22 shell. And yeah, in this hole right here, decent distance down, I mean, what is that, four or five inches down, I pulled out this thing, which is a really nice button. I'm so sorry that it doesn't have all of its parts. I don't think I broke it, I hope I didn't break it. But it is beautiful. It has some gold gild on it still, and yeah, I don't see a pattern though, just, just real nice, Nice material. So I'm finally, finally got a signal today. I'm very happy. Like 21, 22. And this way, jumps up to like 27, 29. All right. Oh, right there. It's a button. Oh, oh my goodness. It's a very nice button. Wow. Beautiful shankage. And got those words, uh, you know, treble gilt probably. Nothing on the front, but it's uh, beautiful. 
I just had a really strong 13. Got a faint signal from the surface, did a small hole, wasn't expecting anything amazing. And in this plug right here, so about three inches down, was all this stuff. And all this stuff, I believe, is the top of a purse, I think. Because there's the little claspy thing that attaches to the other claspy thing. And there's a little ring that would go to a chain. Here's the other ring from the other side of the chain. So it's a purse that had a chain. Yeah, I always find them. I just never find the contents. Maybe someday. So Mike just said he had an 18. And he's going to see if it was what it was. Ah, oh, here it is. And it's... it is... Ooh, flat button with shank. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. Yep. That is pretty neat. Yeah, it's in good shape. Right next to this rock, yeah. so maybe, you know, maybe someone's rock just hanging it. out there. Yep. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I just had a 1920 in a bed of iron and figured I'd go for it. And I just pulled out this and still trying to figure out what this is. I thought it was probably an Indian. I don't know. Mike's going to have to clean it up, but I feel like there's an Indian head in there somewhere. Hmm. So we'll have to take it home and figure out exactly what it is. I don't want to mess with it too much out here. So but, it's yeah. too dark. It's, it's too dark. Oh, that too. light is nice. The light is nice. I so, I yeah. I mean, you could. Oh, do, there it is. Can you see the Indian? Yeah. yeah. But yep. then, <laughs> is it definitely an Indian head? It is. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so I got an Indian, so that's cool. Now we're going to go over and see what Mike's got. So I'm going to take a little trip through the woods here. Yeah. He said he, he, he called me over here because he found a whole bunch of iron, so he thinks there might have been a structure in here. It's kind of flat. It and it's kind of flat. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, so did, did you find it, it already or no? Hole, but it got dark on me. Oh, there it is. It's drying out. <laughs> oh, cool. You do have, you, you do have a coin. Oh, yeah. sweet. Sure, it's not a button. <laughs> I mean, maybe I think I'm seeing like a... There's definitely a design in the middle, uh, but there's no like sign of a shank. Yeah. I mean, unless that's what's in the middle. That could be a button. Yeah. But it's a something old. Yeah. Definitely something old. Cool. Cool. Well, while you're on... <laughs> Yeah. Well, Hold on. Do you, you want me to keep it on? I dug that. Yeah. Okay. Might as well. Can you live? The, yeah. This one? Are we gonna live dig something? Yeah. Okay. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. Yeah. Four bars, so it's fairly deep. Or super tiny. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Sorry. Let me get out of the way. All right. This might be just staying there. <laughs> Well, there's a giant oh, stump right next to you, so, you know, there's that. And everything I've dug so far has been under a root. Anticipation. Anticipation is making me wait. Oh, my God. It's keeping me waiting. <laughs> <it>. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and watch him labor over this. It's a hole. Not a roots okay my fingers are touching now all right all right so we're not you're not you're, you're adjacent your root adjacent it is a giant musket ball oh sweet holy cow oh wow it is that's sweet a big caliber nice wow cool all righty there you go well, it's Christmas Eve, and it's not terrible out, so we decided to do a couple hours of woods detecting up at the pest house. And I have been wandering around in the woods for a good hour, haven't found anything, and I just stumbled across this. So, not sure what it is, but it's a 2526 right here, and I figured, why not? I'll try to live dig it and see what happens. So, I mean, my sensitivity is way up. So, I mean, it's probably an aluminum can, but it's not up here. So that implies to me that it's not an aluminum can. So I just have to figure out what it is. <laughs> well, the good news is it's under the tree. So let's see. Hopefully I'm in, in, in frame. We've had such erratic weather that Things are not frozen, even though they're covered in snow. Up, oh, up. Oh. 
What is that? What is that? <laughs> well, it's nothing precious. Oh, it's a bell. Sweet. It's a bell. Let's see what we got here. Huh. There's my dinger. I don't want to lose my dinger. Hold on. That's the dinger. There's nothing else important in there, right? Ah, oh, cool. It's a bell. I think this will clean up nicely. So, I will take it. That's cool. It was a solid 10 signal. And several inches down, came out this guy in uh, three pieces. So, I got me an old silver-plated spoon. That's kind of cool. So, Persis and I, uh, she's down there, right over there. Uh, it's late. It's uh, well, <laughs> late for New England. It's like 3.30, I think, and the sun's pretty much gone down. So, we only have like, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. We thought we'd just come over to the neighbor's house and dig. Now, we live through the woods that way um, and there's a corner over there and then the house comes down here that's the old King's Highway right there from the late 1600s over here I thought I was digging a quarter with a steady 32 signal and I could get it from the surface with the pinpointer and I managed to get through some of this frozen ground but it's not a quarter <laughs> uh, looks like a large scent of some sort yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the bust side right there. Uh, you can see the lower portion of probably the neck and the head up here. Uh, pretty sure. Welcome to the wrap-up of, uh, I guess you can call it a, uh, a neighborhood hunt. A couple of big pieces of metal, iron and aluminum. Plate of all, a bunch of doodads, bullets and casings, and miscellaneous stuff, including a uh, fishing weight. Chris has got this really cool bell. That was very nice. Some spoons. We have a ox knob, a uh, lantern wick uh, feeder, as well as a little bit of a, a harmonica reed. Chris has also got some clips to the uh, coin purse. Um, I think this is a uh, bale seal, but I can't make out anything on it. Uh, I've got a pretty big musket ball as well as a uh, bent D buckle. Got a bunch of like clasps, some clad coins, a quarter of diamonds and pennies. Have a nice little collection of buttons, uh, including some with some text on them, like this one here. Uh, you know, that treble gilt type stuff, and that one has a nice, interesting back to it. And we have some old coins. We have a 1890 Indian, as well as a, uh, can't read the last digit, but it's 1860 some odd. Very different looking. It took us a while to uh, ID that one. That's a one sole coin, uh, minted between 1768 and 1774 in France, and that's uh, Louis the 15th. And about 40 yards out my front door, uh, found this half real, 1783. And uh, I'm not in the best shape, but surely a really awesome coin to find on your own property. Hope you enjoyed this hunt around the neighborhood. Um, really appreciate your support. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for more.